Good morning everybody. So uh, today we are going to go to the 6th Street Diner on board the P&O RVA. Yeah, so it is a all-included restaurant. There mm -hmm. are no extra charges for this. Nope. Now, if you've been on the sister ship, the Iona, you know it's got four main dining rooms. Yeah. This is kind of like a replacement because this has only got two main dining rooms. Yes. So this is kind of a replacement for that. Mm. So it's an American theme restaurant. Yes. And we have been a few times already. It's absolutely amazing. Walking into it is like a film set. Yeah, yeah. it's like a proper, <laughs> proper like diner kind of inside. Obviously ignore the like the porthole windows. Yeah, you but said if it wasn't for them, it would literally be like a film set. Yeah, it looks really <laughs> cool. Now, they are open for breakfast slash brunch. We will explain all this. Yes, yeah, and how to book everything, we'll yes. explain it all. And then it's open later on for dinner. So like I say, we will explain everything you need to know about booking and all that kind of stuff. Uh, dinner is 5.30 till 9.30, so yes. it closes from 2 o'clock back at half five again. Yep. But we'll explain, like say, menus, how to book for all them times, but we'll go through everything like yes. that. It is very loud in there as well. The, yep. the mu music's blurry, but we'll speak up as loud as we can. It's got a jukebox in there. Yep. Just honestly, I can't wait to show you guys inside. It is so cool. It's getting close to brunch time now. We will explain, like say, what we're doing and when we're doing mm -hmm. it kind of thing when we get in there. So we're, we better get going so we can get in there and get a table. So we're in the Sixth Street Diner now and I'm just going to explain it a little bit to you because it is a bit confusing. On the section of your dining, in your Horizon magazine, it does say that the diner is open 10 till 2 for breakfast and brunch. Now, only 10 till 12 is breakfast, and then at 12 o'clock it comes the brunch menu with some items still available from your breakfast menu. So it's kind of breakfast and brunch, but that's only at 12 o'clock. The first two hours are only breakfast. Like most things for dining on the ship, there is an option to join the virtual queue. Now this morning when we tried to join it, because we're in here now at 12 o'clock for brunch, it wasn't available on the app to join any virtual queue. So we physically came to the restaurant because it was coming up queue full. Even though yeah. it is, like they said, it's confusing, you can't actually join a virtual queue for breakfast or lunch, so ignore that. No, we have just asked the head waiter and we said, because he was empty in here when we got here, and we said, is this right? Because it's saying queue full, and he says, you can't join a queue. Whether that's just when we're on board, I don't know, but we couldn't join the virtual queue today. We physically turned up at 12 o'clock because we wanted brunch. Remember, that's when brunch starts and he seated us straight away. So that's how we work. It is a little bit confusing. It is different for dinner, but we'll explain that later on. So I'll explain the menus very quick. I do apologize if it is very loud. There's speakers everywhere playing music, so we can't do anything about that. We're on a two week cruise. Week one is menu A for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Week two is menu B for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Each one has different items on. So. That's a good thing, you won't get sick of it over a two week cruise. We aren't doing breakfast in this video, we have done breakfast on menu A. We will put the menu over and we will show you some clips of the food that we did eat. It was very nice. We are going to joke about it. We heard, overheard somebody moaning that it's not a proper American diner because in America they flip the eggs. It's a British take on an American diner. so. It's not full. If you've been to a Denny's or like a proper 50s kind of diner, it's the best that they can do on a cruise ship. So do take that in mind. I believe on the breakfast menu both weeks, um, they both have pancakes and um, fried chicken and waffles. And then I think it's they always have an American breakfast and then the other two change. So on the first week, it was a breakfast burrito and six street hash. This week, it's steak and eggs and huevos rancheros. So that's the two that change. And then we've done week A brunch, which we'll put some clips over now, which is completely different to the one we're gonna show you. So like I say, it's a good thing that it changes and we'll obviously show you dinner later on when we come back for dinner. Just be careful as well because when we first came to the diner on the first day they had the electronic boards outside and it was advertising milkshakes on there. They do not do milkshakes on there. Which would have been nice in an American diner. Well on the picture we were like oh we're going to try a milkshake but they don't do them. So scrap what I've just said about the milkshake. So a bit later on, I saw a waitress come out carrying some drinks and I said to Kev, 
that looks like milkshake she's carrying on there. And he went, it might be cocktails because on the back of your food menu is the full drinks of what they do in here and milkshakes is not on it. So we've just asked, and this is a bit, you know, you, you wouldn't know to ask this. You have to ask them for a separate milkshake menu. Um, so we just asked them for one and they haven't put it on the main menu they said because they aren't doing the freak shake which is, should be £7.15 so they haven't put that on so they're not doing that so you can either have a chocolate or vanilla milkshake and they are £4.05 each unless you're on the deluxe drinks package then it'll be included so make sure you do ask them for a milkshake menu if you do want one so you'd have to be in the know to know otherwise if it's not on the menu but you're in the know now as one couple's adventure have told you right and now back to wherever we were in yeah. the video as well with the menu you do not have to have the three courses you can have no dessert and two mains if you like and you can also have as much as you want now the guy on the first time when we came in here said that we said how does it work and he went you just have to have a starter a main and dessert you don't you can have as much as you want which is what we've done today again we apologize the music is really really loud in here but it's american theme so we put our order in and you just have to sit back now and dance to the tunes while you wait for it to come So I'm going to try the popcorn shrimp with the smoky Cajun mayo. We've had popcorn shrimp many times and it definitely is a good one to have on the menu because it definitely reminds me of being in America. So I'm going to get a good dollop there of the sauce on. That's really nice. Like I said, we've had that many times in America. The shrimp is nice and I like the batter and definitely give it a good old dip in that Cajun mayo. So I'll try the pick up chicks. It's basically like I say, a chicken tender, a chicken goujon comes with house-made uh, ranch dressing as well. Can't go wrong with ranch dressing, that's proper American that is. Yeah, so it's just a chicken tender and it's more like a cream dressing than a ranch dressing. Doesn't taste like proper ranch dressing, but it's nice enough for the chicken. We'll probably end up just dipping it all in Stacey's uh, Cajun mayo, really. No! <laughs> and then I'll also just quickly try the pretzel bites, which is just a pretzel bun, but it comes with a maple and yellow mustard dip. It smells nice anyway, the dip. That dip's really nice, actually. It actually makes it. I probably end up dip dipping the uh, the chicken in that because you can't beat honey mustard kind of dressing with chicken. But for me, you can't anyway. So we polished the starters off. We didn't eat the lettuce. We're not rabbits, you know but we're gonna wait for the mains now. And what do we do in here? You have to do while you're waiting for the food to come. Check Instagram? No, we dance. You have to to this music in here. <laughs> Great attempt, Gav. Thank you, thank you. So the mains are here. Uh, I'm just gonna look, I took a picture of the menu, so I'm gonna tell you what's on mine. So I've gone for the Diner Dog. It's a Chicago style, all beef sausage with pickled, frazzled onions, uh, mustard in a tornado brioche bun with fries okay I just wanted to make sure I got it all in there it does look like and once again it's come in the red basket so Stacey's happy you've got to try and get that all in there now I know so yeah <laughs> that's a big dog it's a nice good sized dog as well plenty of toppings now if you don't want the mustard on obviously you can ask for no mustard um, there is condiments at the table as well. There's ketchups and hot sauces and stuff like that. And we'll also get in there very quickly. Water is included or free, depending on how you like to look at these things. So enough of uh, water, let's shove this in my gob. That's a really, really nice hot dog. That mustard's not spicy, so don't be afraid of that spicy mustard. It's like that yellow, they've actually got some here, like the mild New York deli style mustard. It's nice, the pickles are nice, the onions are nice and crunchy, so I highly recommend that. We did also get a side of onion rings, and the onion rings also come with what they call six street dip. Doesn't say what it is, so I'll give it a try. Them onion rings are quite nice, got a nice crisp to them. The onion's not like overly soft in the middle. I'm not sure what this dip is, but it's quite nice. It reminds me of that honey maple dip, what we had in the stores. So similar to that. Right, so I've had the patty melt. I love that they put patty as well and not burgers or just beef because when you hear the word patty instantly if you've been to America you've heard the word patty. So this is two smashed beef patties with malty cheese, griddled onions and a golden brioche 
with fries, pickles and six street sauce. So I think it's the same sauce that you tried oh, Kev right, with okay. the onion rings. Oh and Kev's hot dog did come with fries as well. Yes. Oh so then the patties are pretty thick on there. I know we're not in America now. At home in England I never like my bread toasted but anything goes with you in America I just love it so hopefully this is up to the same standard yeah that is absolutely delicious it's not toasted too much so it's just got that nice little bit of toastiness to it the beef patty like I said it's really thick and juicy loads of gooey cheese on there and then the onions aren't overly cooked so they've still got that little bit of rawness to them that, that's what they were like on the hot dog the nice like that yeah when they aren't overcooked. not like when you go them dirty burger vans at the fair no no so it just gives it a bit of crunch but yeah loads of cheese on there I don't even think, you know, I'd add ketchup to that. No, I'm not going to put any ketchup on it. It's nice as it is. That's, that's delicious though. It's not the American experience to me until I can have a pickle because I, I love these in America. Kev knows I do, don't you? I love yeah, them. she loves a pickle. I, I'll, I'm hit or miss uh, on a pickle. If you had any, Kev, I'd be eating yours as well. But they gave me like two little pieces. I always remember in America, you can get like the big it's dill pickles on the stick. Yeah. Not quite, this not quite that big, but still a pickle oh right okay so we finished them reluctantly because we are actually filming the dinner half of this uh, vlog in about four hours time so uh, I don't know how we're gonna do it which is funny because on the way here and we were laughing about it in the atrium there was a guy signing standing now with a big clipboard and he'd wrote on it I don't know if it was like a, a talk or something like that, but it was a sign up if you want to come and discuss about getting a flatter stomach. Oh. <laughs> I thought how ironic when we were on our way here and then we're filming dinner tonight. Our stomach, they weren't flat anyway, they're not going to be flat after this, are they? Desserts are here now. I've gone for the Froyo Cherry Mess, and that's got in vanilla frozen yogurt, sweet and saucy cherries, smashed graham crackers, and a glacy cherry. I'd like to just point out it's graham crackers, not graham crackers, and uh, I can't remember. Did you say glacé cherry? Glacy, or did you say, glacy. It's glacé cherry. Glacé. Yeah. Glacé cherry. That says graham. It's graham. Graham crackers. That's how they pronounce it. I thought it was graham. When graham. you have like a small, it's like graham crackers. And gla gl glassy cherry. Glacé. Glacé. Yeah. Not glacy. No. Right. Okay. I was. I was going to have the New York cheesecake, but I couldn't commit to it. I was too full, and we got it back in here for dinner. So the uh, Graham's crackers, it is. So I think this is going to be nice. It's not going to be too filling, but I can't see any of um, Graham's crackers in there. Graham, Graham. It's just frozen yogurt and cherries. I can't. There's definitely not any crackers in there. Kev, can you see any crackers? No. In here? Just see us. Got frozen yogurt. I think they forgot the crackers. So I've gone for the chocolate and peanut butter blondie cookie with salted caramel and ice cream. So it says it's vegan friendly, so this isn't real ice cream. So it's like vegan ice cream, so it's non dairy. I've never had non dairy ice cream before, so is it going to be as nice? I'll try that quick first. Yeah, that's okay. It's a little bit grainy, but it's not too bad. And then the cookie. Quite hard, because that was it smashing. <laughs> that cookie is quite tough. Definitely needs the ice cream. Maybe ask for two scoops. So, tastes nice. It's a little bit uh, chewy. Right, so that's lunch all finished with. That was delicious, the service was great. But we'll see you back in a few hours when we've then got to come back and film dinner. So we are back in the diner now for dinner. Wow, those five and a half hours have gone very quick and we're still very full from that. Dinner works a little bit differently. So from the day of embarkation on your cruise, you can actually book a table for dinner in the Sixth Street Diner. So remember for breakfast and brunch, you cannot book at all, but for dinner you can. Now, you can only book between the times of 5.30 and 6. You cannot book a table for any other times, just the first half hour when it opens. So I think this dining room is open 5.30 till 9.30. After 6 p.m., if you wanted to come, your next option available is, isn't is until 6.30, when you can either join the virtual queue that will open on your app, so you just go on there and join the queue for that. Again, dependent on how many are on your cruise ship, how many join the virtual queue. Obviously, the sooner you are at 6.30, the earliest you'll be in the queue. 
and then the only other option is to join a physical queue. Now you cannot do that at, at 5.30, we have checked with the head waiter, you cannot do that with, at 5.30 when the restaurant opens, you again have to do that at 6.30, so you come down to the diner at 6.30, you ask for a table, again dependent on how many are on your cruise, he might be able to sit you straight away in 15 minutes time, he might be able to tell you come back in an hour, but what he said that you can't do is go down at 6.30 and specifically ask for a table, say at 8 o'clock. What he will say is either join the queue, virtual queue at 8 o'clock or come down at 8 o'clock and try to be seated. Right, so we just want to show you these placemats as well because these are really cool. You don't get these at breakfast or at brunch, so they're a nice little... Uh, addition there for your evening meal and we forgot to say when we did the brunch as well that at breakfast time they serve your tea and coffee in these really cool sixth street diner mugs they aren't for sale we have asked it would be cool if we sold them uh, but we'll put a picture over now because yeah we want one <laughs> right okay so we'll explain the menus again quickly so this week is menu b it's hard to come i think it doesn't show up the best because it's this gold menu but uh yeah, so you've got menu B, which is this menu. Last week was menu A. We did eat some of that, so we'll put those clips on now. Menu A was a completely different menu from head to toe. Appetizers, mains and desserts were all completely different. It was another nice menu. This menu, uh, we did come in last night and have a few of the uh, other items. We'll also put those on now, just so you can see we had the um, Philly cheese steak. That was quite nice. We had the burnt tens. Well, he says brisket and burnt tens, but it wasn't. It was just a big chunk of brisket, which was actually quite nice. Obviously, it's not going to be Texas Steakhouse nice, but it was nice. And we also had the Texas sausage. That was, in a way, like a French cassoulet, like it was sausages with uh, beans and stuff in a bowl. So, you know, that was a little bit different. And I must say as well that I tried the... Well, we actually split it in half, didn't we? We tried the Philly cheese steak last night now we have actually had a philly cheesesteak in philadelphia and it was actually really really good now it came with no sauces on but when we were at, if you want the authentic experience when we were in philadelphia and we first tried one the lady there said to us to try it with just the onions on didn't just she just the cheese onions and peppers and no sauces on so that's how it came last night so we kept it authentic and it was very nice now obviously it wasn't the same it was chunky steak and that but yeah uh, it was a good you know it was a good replica of it just quickly on the back of your menu is the drinks menu they do have some exclusive cocktails to the diner so if you're uh, interested in those now there is some exclusive soft drink options there there's a root beer a cream soda and a blueberry muffin soda uh, we were going to try these but we saw one came out last night and uh, it was the same ones that we've had from home bargains i know it sounds silly they aren't the nicest personally that's our taste so if you've seen the ones we mean you'll know them it's up to you because we, we plan to have one in this video didn't we as soon as kev saw him last night the waitress bringing him out he said uh, no he says oh we don't like them we've tried them yeah. from home bargains and don't forget as well guys what did you learn from the video earlier on if you want a milkshake you've got to ask him yeah. for that milkshake menu okay <laughs> right okay so the starters are here i've got the bar half fried avocado which comes with charred corn pepper salsa torch tomatoes and this little pot in the middle is jalapeno tomato essence that's a new one on me Right, okay, so I've had the jumbo shrimp and it says it comes with a US cocktail sauce, so interesting to see what that is. Now there is five pieces of shrimp on there, a good size. It's nice because at brunch we had the popcorn shrimp and it came in the batter, the coating. Yeah, yeah. So it's nice to have something a bit lighter. It also comes with some shredded lettuce as well and some lemon there if of course you want to squeeze it over, your, over the prawns. I'll just say quick, so again like brunch, because we are full, we've just we've just gone only, I mean most people probably will, but we've just gone for a starter, a main and a dessert, but again, you can have as much as you want, you don't have to do it that way. I'll well, shut up now and try this prawn. Uh, the prawns are really nice. We always say this, but P&O do have nice prawns. They always have, aren't they, Kev? We've never yeah, had a problem we've never with had the prawns. Prawn on the P &O. They're really nice, really fresh. The 
sauce. It's like a watered down tomato sauce, I would say. It's nice, yeah. Right, so I'll try the bar half fried avocado now. I'm going to dip it in this uh, essence. I just hope it isn't going to soggy up my batter too much. So the fried avocado is nice. I'd probably miss out on the essence of tomato and jalapeno. It's literally like somebody squoze a tomato, got the juice out and strained out the pips. So it's a bit eh. Because the sauce is watery as well. It's my fault. I dipped the prawn right in there and just didn't put my hand or anything underneath. So stripped on my t-shirt. Oopsie. So the mains are here now. I've had the barbecue turkey breast and this comes with a Texas mop sauce, loaded backyard potato salad and pickled jalapeno creamed corn. The cream corn sounds nice but I don't like corn but it's a shame because I like pickled jalapeno and it doesn't come with fries but the guy he saw the size of my cheeks and thought she must like her carbs so he, he brought me some fries on the side. He was the same guy who served us uh, earlier yeah. on for the lunch part <laughs> so he probably knew that he totally liked the food. Yeah so we need to bring Stacey some chips. So that's a good chunk of turkey and there's five slices of it as well. Let's mop it up in the, was it the mop sauce? Mop, up, mop it up in the mop sauce. That turkey is so juicy and soft and I really like that sauce because obviously in England we'd, we'd have gravy really would be with yeah. our turkey if we we're going to have some kind of sauce with it but we'll to have that one because it's got the hint of barbecue with it that is delicious i'm going to try the backyard potato salad now oh that backyard mm -hmm. potato is nice so it's got like it's mixed the potatoes mixed in with a sour cream and it's got a peppery taste it's basically like a loady potato that is really nice so i've gone for the maryland crab cake comes with lemon aioli and a braised fennel salad looks really nice i couldn't believe how much lemon aioli there is there's more lemon aioli than there is crab cake it's a decent sized crab cake oh mine also comes with fries as well so they don't need to uh, bring me extra ones unlike stacy but uh, yeah so there's loads of lemon aioli i'll give it a try now yeah so that's nice now obviously i wouldn't have picked this first but because we'd had all the good stuff last night i thought we'll try something different but it is nice there's uh, the lemon aioli just gives it that little bit of citrusy tang to cut through the the deep fried potato crab cake and the the uh, the fennel slaw uh, braised fennel salad i think they called it it's nice enough just to add a bit of extra veg to the dish but uh can't go wrong with fries to judge it fairly i don't like corn and kev loves it so he's gonna try it I'm not going to turn down food off Stacey's plate really. I do like it's corn. It's a very rare occurrence, that's why. In all honesty, it tastes like tin sweet corn that somebody slightly warmed up and mashed a little bit. I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm not messing much then. Not really. I'll just stick to me potatoes and turkey, that's yeah. nice. Okay. Mains have been polished off, both very nice. In all honesty, I preferred Stacey's turkey. I, I do like a nice turkey and it was quite nice. It wasn't dry at all. Uh, one thing we forgot to mention, dress code there isn't one i don't think you're allowed coming in, in like a pair of swimming sh wet swimming shorts and a bikini but other than that i've got a pair of shorts on chino shorts and i've got a checkered shirt and a t-shirt thank you very much so there is no real dress code like a main dining room so don't worry about that we really like it because it's just a bit more relaxed at night when it's hot like we're in the canary uh, canary island we're in the mediterranean and it's 30 odd degrees outside so sometimes it's just nice to be a bit more relaxed. So desserts are here. I've gone for the peanut butter jelly tart, which is, as Stacy calls them, Graham crackers. Graham crackers. <laughs> I'm still saying Graham. Okay, okay. Raspberry jam, peanut cream, and raspberry sauce. Is there anything more American than peanut butter and jelly? Baseball, hot dogs. Okay, so there's a lot of American things, but this screams Americana, doesn't it really? doesn't feel it's like a cheesecake basically but it doesn't feel too dense that's really nice actually i will say it's vegan so it's obviously it's not the same consistency as say a cheesecake or like a peanut butter mousse but it's nice actually i suppose you've got to have something for these vegans aren't they so i was obviously joking about they have to add something in for the vegans but can i just ask because this is vegan and it's not cream and stuff does that mean it's lowering calories so can i eat more 
So I've gone for the Boston cream pie, and that says it's a chiffon sponge with vanilla cream filling and chocolate ganache. Now I will say both of us have also asked for some ice cream that wasn't on the menu. But again, we've had amazing service in here, and we always, always like to have a bit of ice cream with our desserts. And he, he did bring us some vanilla ice cream, so two scoops each. So just ask them for them, even if you don't see it on the menu. I do really like the look of this. I love cream and cake. <laughs> that sponge is so soft, and it's really nice with the cream. The chocolate on top. I've just got Kev Tasty as well. It's not dark chocolate, but it's not milk. It's, is there an in between? It's more pandering to a higher cocoa ratio, I'd say. It's more towards the dark. Because I, I don't like dark chocolate though, and that's why I've had the ice cream. But I wouldn't say I need the ice cream for that. I'm going to eat that separately. But it reminds me of if you go like Dunkin' Donuts or Krispy Kreme, you can get the Boston Cream Donut. And yes. the filling reminds me a bit of, of that that would come on with that. But it's a sponge instead of like the donut. You know what I mean. Right, so we're all finished up now. We have polished the lot off. Just want to mention as well, fantastic service in here. They really do look after you, the waiters. We're going to go out in a minute and finish the video in a second. But on the way out, I do want to run up to somebody, tap on the head and say, Hey McFly, if you watch Back to the Future, you get the reference. But yeah, we'll see you outside in a sec. So that was absolutely delicious. You know it's a good meal when you try to shove it in your gob that quick that you've ended up wearing some of it because Kev then did get ice cream. After I that got that on my t-shirt, you got ice cream on you. I saw you, bit. saw you go for shove it in your mouth and it come flying on your top. It was only a it little bit. It was more than bit. what I got on me. Ah, uh, if you say so. <laughs> but yeah, like we said at the beginning, you know, P&O is a British cruise line mm -hmm. and I think they've done really well to try and add in an American diner. I think they've actually done a really a good job yeah. and the same as if you went to you know it's never going to be 100 percent authentic but same as if you went to america and they tried to do say a take on a british fish and chips yes. it's never going to be exactly the no. same is it but i think they've done a really really good yeah. job yeah like i say if you're on the two-week cruise like we are there's two menus one each week for all free uh, breakfast brunch and dinner yes so make sure you go and try all of them because they're all all very nice and like we said just be careful on the menu where it says 10 till 2 is breakfast and brunch is two separate menus yes. so remember 10 till 12 and then 12 begins your brunch till 2 yes. with breakfast items still included right but <laughs> i think we best go and put some stain remover on stacy's top yes before that stains your ice cream is all right it's yeah stained. so uh as always hit that subscribe button leave us a comment have you been to diner do you want to go to diner yada 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 <laughs> uh, and I'll call you down there because you might as well. I was going to say there's plenty of other food videos. It's yes. been one of our favourite places on the ship to yes, come. Definitely. But there are plenty of other nice places as well. So Big try them out. But we better love you and leave you and put some stain remover on these clothes. So <laughs> thanks for watching guys. I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.